The best of the National Football League, the American Football Conference Championship Game. Today from Three Rivers Stadium, it's the Houston Oilers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. 50,000 fans to see if the defending champion Steelers will go to Pasadena two weeks hence, or will it be the underdog amazing Houston Oilers? Third and three, Bradshaw's first throw. Has a man open. Stallworth, third and four. Good protection. Intercepted. Vernon Perry. 40, he might go all the way. Perry at the 35, the 30. Vernon Perry, touchdown. 75 yards in two playoff games. Harris. And so is Jesse Baker, number 75, at defensive end. Blyer. Good blocks. We got a four man rush. Mike Stensrud, pick number 67. Third and five. Bradshaw. Pressure. He gets loose and then a saving tackle. Earl Campbell gets only a yard or two. Basically a 10 man line for Pittsburgh. Here they come. Greenwood right through his block. A complete Pittsburgh team and Bradshaw to the air. Complete. Bradshaw breaks free, running room, 25, 20, 15, 10. He's all the way to the four-yard line. Bradshaw tipped incomplete. Colt went to hold. It's cool. First down at the 18 for the Oilers. Here's his first pass. Screen to Wilson. He's got blockers. 20, 25, 30, 35, 50, and he's all the way to the 45-yard line of Pittsburgh. Campbell, no hole. Third down, 11 from the Pittsburgh 45. Good protection. Going for Ronnie Coleman. Complete. The score here at Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh. The Oilers seven, the Steelers three. We'll be right back. Rob Carpenter in motion. Great protection. Carpenter down at the nine. Right down the middle. Bradshaw has Swan right, Stallworth left. And he is back to throw. And he completes it to Swan. First down. Cunningham, the tight end, is split away out of your picture to the right. And it's to Blyer, first down. Early in the second quarter, Bradshaw, Swan is open. Breaks a tackle, and finally down. The backs are in the pattern. Cunningham, touchdown. yards and the Steelers will go for the tie. Pastorini, what a catch by Renfro. Campbell. Dennis Winston drops Campbell for another loss. When they played in the Astrodome and it was one of the reasons that they lost the game down there along with some great play by the Houston Oilers. 33 yard line, third and about 17. Down the middle to Renfro. He fumbles. That's Mel Blunt. Pittsburgh ball at the Houston 49. Liar. Big hole. Liar gets eight yards. Bradshaw. Going long. Back 
best runner in football. Great job by Webster on Culp, keeping him off the backside. But look at that cutting ability by Franco Harris. On first down, Bradshaw. Into the end zone, Stallworth. John Stallworth. And Pittsburgh takes the lead for the first time. Third and nine, and again, the Steelers have an 11-man front. Now they back off. Intercepted. 49, Dwayne Woodruff, the rookie from Louisville, has the ball. And with 148 left, the Steelers have a chance to pad the lead. Bratch over the middle to Harris. Has two wide receivers right, Cunningham split left. With 50 seconds left in the half. Bradshaw is dumped at the 47-yard line. That's what they've done. It's down to 34. On second and long, Harris again gets to the 43 of Houston. Third and nine. And look at that statistic. He needs another first down to get that field goal. Harris to the 40 and out of bounds. He may have the first down. He's laid almost out on his stomach when he's running at his best. 13 seconds left. Bradshaw to Blyer. No good. He hooked it to the left. The Oilers struck quickly and early on Vernon Perry's 75-yard touchdown with an interception. But Pittsburgh came back in the second quarter and lead at the half by seven. Campbell. That's his biggest gain of the day. You saw Lambert, that little extra that might have saved a long gainer. First down. Oh, my! How do you do? Joe Green meets Earl Campbell. Has better deep speed. Third and 12. First possession of this second half. That's Rob Carpenter in motion. Carpenter hit immediately at the 33 by Mel Blunt. And, so, and Blunt still after the Oilers, and there's a penalty flag, and someone is going to be hit with a personal foul. Double foul, unfortunately, I found that 26 right, 47 dark. Short again. Bell on the run, fumble! And who's got it? Bell or the Oilers? They both have their hands on it. The ruling is Houston. The Oilers get a break. On the muff, it's first down at the 41. Pass for any play action. Goes for Barber. Incomplete. Pass for any trying to call out his audible. And Campbell is tackled immediately by Joe Green. Green is just overpowering his man. Kick. Bell will get another chance. That's the best kick today by Parsley. To the 7. 10. And down. <laughs> There's the MVP, the Pittsburgh Pirates, Willie Stargell. He came in disguise as a Houston Oilers fan. You know where his heart is, right here in the Steel City. Pittsburgh leading 17 to 10, and Bradshaw's first throw of the second half, scrambling and hit down at the nine-yard line. Two touchdown passes to Swan and to Stallworth. Play action. Barber, incomplete. Third and eight. Good protection. This is Carpenter at the 40, and he twists down to the 37. That's not enough for the first down. Fifth round pick out of Wisconsin, all pro. It's now third and nine. There's your open man, Cunningham, incomplete. To Ellender. Ellender stands at the 40. Another good kick. What a beauty. 30, 20. Oh, Pastorini started out six for six. Again, play action. Dumps it off to Campbell. Looks for a block. And Earl. It is a first down at the 24-yard line. And Nielsen going to throw the ball right off the bat to Wilson on a little screen. And Wilson gets good yardage. Second and less than a yard. Campbell. Fumble. And the Oilers get it at the 48-yard line. 
17 to 10, Pittsburgh leads. We have four and a half left in the third quarter. Renfro is knocked down, and that'll be a penalty on Mel Blunt. What's the one-on-one -on -one situation here? Renfro down the sideline, the contact right there. No question about it. Second down, eight. Pass for any. To Renfro, first down at the 23. Lauren Taves, 51 in as an extra linebacker. He's good on pass coverage. Only Carpenter behind Passerini. Blitz. Coleman. He makes the catch. First and goal at the seven-yard line. With a minute and a half remaining in the third quarter, the Oilers six yards away from a tie. It is Renfro. Touchdown. Or is it? Out of play. A late call. The official did not make any signal and now apparently has said no touchdown. He did not single. I don't think he could see the play. He looked down the end zone line to ask a call from the other official. He did not get a call. The officials are meeting now. They're trying to get the players out so they can talk about it. They may have to get a decision from Jim Tunney. Well, we're going to see it on the replay, and we'll be able to decide whether or not Renfro got his feet down in time. It was a tough call, and this might be a spot where an instant replay would be important. Let's see if the feet come down. Now he's got the ball. He does touchdown. clearly get inside. It is there's a no touchdown. No question about it. It was not called one, but there's no doubt that was a Houston touchdown. Well, they haven't made a final decision in the end zone. They're still down there talking about it. Now there's no question about this. He's got control. He has both feet down clearly in the end zone. It is a touchdown. Of course, the officials do not have the luxury that we enjoy of seeing that instant replay. The man on the spot didn't see it, so he couldn't call it. And now the Oilers are denied a touchdown. Oh, my. Bum could just eat that cowboy hat. The feet, one, two, clearly down. There's not much question on, there is no question on that one. It's a touchdown. But the score remains 17 to 10 Pittsburgh. It's second and goal at the six yard line. And the Oilers overcome the bad call. Tim Wilson down at the five yard line. Carpenter. Timeout, end of the third quarter, 17 to 10, Pittsburgh. And it is good. Oh, that was so critical for the Oilers. Advice to Bradshaw has been, do you keep an open game going or as you get into this fourth quarter? First down from the Steeler 23. Franco, big hole. Bradshaw changing his play. Good protection. And Vernon Perry almost had another. Thirteen minutes left in the game. Bradshaw, a lot of time. And there he is at the 46-yard line. Lynn Swan, and I believe he has the first down. They have a four-man front this time. It's Harris, and he has the first down, I believe. And even if they don't score, they're also buying real estate and forcing Houston deep into its own end. Bradshaw again, well protected. What a hit. Go for it there, but he sent his field goal team onto the field. Swan looks to be wide open. Is the holder. That bar connects. Reverse to Caster. Gets no. to Wilson and what a play out at the 16 yard line it might be on the 17 yard line Carpenter to the 31 screen again Elsie Greenwood slowed the play down and only third and six for Houston Double wing formation, Coleman in the left wing. They like to go to him. 
Instead, it's Guido Merkins who fumbles, and the Steelers have it. Merkins had the catch. Is the ball dead? The ball may have been blown dead. No. Donnie Shell came up with it. And have it now at the Houston 45-yard line. We talked about how slippery that ball is on a day like today, and we have seen it bouncing around a great deal. Third and about two and a half. Big play for Houston, trying to stop the Steelers. Bradshaw going deep. Flyer. The 17-yard line. In Houston territory, leading 20 to 13. Flyer. Minutes remaining in the game. Timeout 20 to 13. Third and one. The Oilers have to gamble defensively and stop Bradshaw. Harris. First down at the five yard line. Blyer. Touchdown. And the Steelers are on their way. Pasadena. But again, the favored Pittsburgh Steelers have proven they are the class of the American Football Conference. The final score, the champion Pittsburgh Steelers 27, the Houston Oilers 13. They really weren't even very loud and noisy in their locker room that last week. I have to wonder whether they're going to celebrate that much today, although I'm sure they're happy about beating a tough Houston team. We do know one thing. Their goal on the season was to get to the Super Bowl and win it again, and that has really helped them. Well, they are going to celebrate. There's the answer to our question, and they deserve to celebrate. They played some great football today. They love the cold weather and the support of Pittsburgh, but they also like to play their last game of the year in warmer climes, and they're on their way to Southern California. We're going to get their comments directly from that Pittsburgh Steeler locker room, and even at that, you can see they carry themselves as champions, but it isn't the boisterous.